All right, guys, check how cool this is. So, although he's really trying to get out, we will eventually let him out. But right here is a juvenile runkles. Now, these guys, although they hood like a cobra, and most people think they are cobras because they look like it, they're actually not. They belong in their own family of elapids called Hemachartus. And that's a monotypic genus that only the runkles belong to. Now, these guys aren't as evolved as most cobras with that insanely accurate spitting ability. However, these guys can definitely spit at you. Quite a cool one. He's got a nice black head. It's just, unfortunately, he's got something wrong with his left eye here. But his right eye is still perfectly fine. So I think he'll do pretty well out here. You can see that typical black banding under the neck here. As well as that little band. And if you can look carefully, he's actually got some nice keeled scales. So these rough, sharp scales. Almost like dragon scales. And that's what keeled scales are. You see this uh, locality of Runkos has got those beautiful chevrons that go all the way up and down the body like that. Pretty distinctive of the Runkos here in Port Elizabeth. So we're going to let this guy go. He's going to eat all the frogs in this area and hopefully grow to become a nice big 1.2 meter Runkos. Alright, so right here we got the Corsus Rombetus. This guy here is known as the Night Hatter. However, these guys are mainly diurnal and love feeding on frogs. This one's very small, very cute. I got him in this little container here, so it's a nice way for me to show you guys without potentially harming myself. These guys are venomous, but nothing that will kill you, but can potentially cause a lot of inflammation and swelling. However, the likelihood of necrosis is very low. So hopefully we can let this guy go now, and uh, he can go off and live a very good life out here. Off you go, big guy. Quite fast for an adder, actually. It's very cool to see. So right here we got Number one out of three puff adders that we have to release today. One of the most venomous adders in Africa. And also one of the most common. Look how cool he is. Beautiful yellow and black markings. You can't mistake this with any other snake. And I can tell this guy here is a male. He's got a very long tail from the tip to the flap here. Most females are about half that length and a lot girthier by the end here. Let's see if I can bring you guys a little closer here for this you see it, just how cool these guys look now his head is nice and safe on the other side so I can get a nice close-up on how keel these scales are they are incredibly rough almost like sandpaper right so right here we got the third puff header and the last puff header it's gonna hook her up and take her in a little deeper they tend to not go very deep when they go in by themselves so I just gently caress by the tail like that and they go in deeper away from the walking path here and it's quite a nice thicket here where they'll hide away from anyone who potentially walk in this area so very very cool all right so right here we have the cape house snake or the brown house snake this is um boeden capensis this is south africa's version of our beautiful house snakes that we have here in africa you can see here these guys have these beautiful distinct stripes just above and below their eyes. That's quite a distinctive feature of most of the house snakes here. And you can see as a juvenile he's got these beautiful neck markings and little spots that faintly show all over the body. It's a really beautiful animal. Anyway, hopefully we can let him go off today and he'll go off to be a nice big snake. And uh, eat all the little mice around the world. <laughs> what a cute little guy.